Hey everyone, welcome to H. Cooper Crafty Bug. I am Hyla and in this video I'm going to show you the cottage ladder and I'm going to show you two different designs you can get from it. This braid was uh, created by my friend Connie at the Southern Cottage and that's what her video looks like and I will put a link to her video so you can go watch that original one. So this one is going to be hot pink, black, and silver. And the ribbons I have right now are going to be the top of the T. And these are your weaving ribbons. And I'm going to get this like checkerboard kind of pattern. So I need to do one color on one side and one color on the other side. So I'm doing hot pink on the right, black on the left, and then diamond dust on top of those. And then hot pink going down the center. And that is just going to be your main ribbons, what you weave around. And those, you really doesn't matter what color those are because it really doesn't get seen after the braid is made. I almost forgot a step. So you got to, after you staple the T together, then you've got to curl those. I'm not sure if it matters if you curl under or over. I really don't think it matters. And then I give them a staple to hold everything in place. Now I tape it down. Now the right ribbons are tripled because I doubled the pink. I wanted to make sure that the pink stayed really vivid, so I doubled the pink. So that means I'm dealing with three rib weaving ribbons on the right, but on the left I'm, I'm weaving with two. I only have one black and one diamond dust. Now this braid, if you've never done this braid, it naturally curves. So you will see the front and back. So if you like the back better or the front better, it doesn't matter because it's going to be twisting all the way down and so you're going to see both sides. So you want to make sure that you're using uh, at least double, doubling your ribbons or like I did with the diamond dust and then uh, a pretty luster on the other side with the shiny side facing out because you will see both sides so you want it to look nice. And you just keep weaving in this way you're kind of making almost a knot and then one side it goes under and you do crease those and I messed that first one up somehow I'll undo it and just start over again so I didn't I didn't do it the knot right or something or curve the ribbon right I think I didn't curve it right I kind of curved it in on accident So you see one goes over and one goes under. The one on the left is going over and the one on the right goes under and you just kind of give them a crease. You just kind of pull a little bit snug. Uh, I get I don't get the same exact measurements out of these because sometimes I go tighter and sometimes I go looser. So it just kind of depends. So you see with the diamond dust on the top of the T, I'm getting the diamond dust running down the middle. And then I'm getting pink and black alternated, which kind of gives it a checkerboard pattern. You just keep going down, and the one on the right is going under, the one on the right or left is going over. I love this braid. It's not too hard, it's not too easy, it's right there in the middle. It's pretty forgiving too. You don't have to be all perfect with it. Like sometimes I make it a looser and sometimes I make it tighter so I don't get the exact same measurements every time. But you know, my measurements definitely work as a guide for me and I will throw some measurements at the end of the video so you can see what my measurements are. It doesn't mean that those measurements are gonna work exactly for you because no two people braid exactly the same. So you may braid snugger than me which means you'll need more ribbons or you may do looser which mean usually means you'd need less ribbons so you can just use my measurements as a guide <coughs> but you just keep working your way down and it will start to uh, twist and I do have to put something on there to kind of hold it down to help me out and you see I am pressing those down. I'm not giving, you're not creasing them where they're completely flat. You're just giving them a little crease. I love that these colors popped on the screen so you can really see what I'm doing. So see on the right how I went under and then on the left with the pink and silver I went over. You just make that knot. You make sure you have to curve the ribbon just right there on the right when you are forming it. 
and you go under the middle and over the the one on the left. See, I'm going under. And once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to go through it really quickly. See how I curve that on the right? You want to make sure you curve it just like that. You have to curve those right ribbons just like that or it won't turn out right. It's almost like you're uh, fixing to tie a shoelace, almost. You're going over the middle ribbon with the right ribbon and then you're going over the left ribbon and then the left ribbon uh, comes over and into that loop. Now I'm getting at the end and I really <laughs> wanted to try and get one or two more little knots out of it especially since I, I was trying to go for a 24 inch braid and I was just a little shy. So I was trying to get a little bit more out of it and I worked really hard to um, get it. And then I wasn't, see on the right, I'm not curving it correctly, so it's not coming out right. It was really hard to get it to cur curve correctly <laughs> the way it was. See, that's how it's gonna look if you don't curve it right. I was having the worst time with that thing. I should have just quit and stapled it and said it was good, but I just couldn't help it. I wanted to get just a little bit more out of it. So I uh, went through my scrap, book, scrap box and I had some black and silver, some silver diamond dust and some black luster little pieces and uh, not little pieces, but some scrap pieces. And so I, I used some double sided tape and it wouldn't hold on the diamond dust, which I've had it hold before. For some reason, that one wouldn't. And so I just gave it a staple, and the staple was hidden. You couldn't even see it. But here I go again, trying to get one more out of it. There was one short piece of pink <laughs> that I had to fold in there. but I was able to get one more knot from doing that. That's why I have a scrap box too. You never know when you need some extra piece of ribbon. And I staple on those last ones anyway, so it didn't really matter that I had that staple, but that gave me right at 24 inches. So that's what I wanted. Even though that part would be hidden, sometimes you can see that from the uh, under the back or it just depends how much room you're talking about and how big you know loops and stuff you have on your mum head oh I guess I got one more out of it but that did give me the, the length I wanted. See, on one side you got the pink and black down the middle, and then on the other side you have the diamond dust down the middle. And then it twists naturally, so you're gonna see both sides, and I just love that. And um, any kind of pretty bling string that you have, like a flower diamond mesh or anything like that, if you hot glue that down the center, it looks so pretty, so, so pretty. Okay, now on this one, I'm gonna show a different pattern. I've got the golden yellow on one side of the T and the purple on the top side of the T. And the yellow, I did double because putting that yellow up against the purple, the purple kind of shows, shows through. So you wanna double that lighter color up so it stays vivid. But I did add an extra 12 inches to my top ribbon, my weaving ribbon, which is what I call the top of the T. And so each side got an extra six inches. So the right side and left side got an extra six inches. 
and my middle ribbons those are also doubled because I want it to hold up and um, I do those about 26 inches give me a little extra since I want an actual 24 inch braid so on this one you're going to have yellow the golden yellow going down the sides and then you're going to have purple down the middle and when the other side it's going to be the opposite you're going to have the golden yellow down the middle and then the purple on the sides so this is two different patterns you get so if you just do a solid color on the tee you do a solid color on top and a solid color on the bottom and this is the pattern you'll get And again, watch how I make that curve on the right ribbon. If you're unsure of how to make this, you really got to do that curve just right. And I didn't get all my ribbons in. So I'm working with three ribbons again because I doubled the yellow, the golden yellow. So one purple and two golden yellows on the right and left. So that is three ribbons I'm dealing with. It does make it a little bit more difficult, but you're going to have a better looking braid. The colors are defi definitely going to be more vivid. Plus you'll have the shiny side showing everywhere if you make sure you at least double the ribbons. You could also do this in one solid color. It's just really up to you. but do not do like a diamond dust down the middle for the middle ribbons because you see under the purple you can barely see that so if you do diamond dust down the center middle ribbon you're not gonna hardly see it it's gonna be a waste see how the purples on the sides and it's starting to twist so I need to hold it down with something and I like using my stapler I think it works perfect So you bring that left ribbon up over and then you pull. Go under that middle one, over the right one, then or the left ribbon, I'm sorry, and then you bring the left ribbon up and through that loop. And here we are at the end. And this one ended up being perfect once I'm done I am going to do at least one more and then I think I end up going a little bit over which I prefer to be a little bit over than under here I go again with these really short ribbons and try to get one more <laughs> out of it you don't have to do this and I screwed it up again it's really hard to get that ribbon to do the right thing on the right when you're working with the really short ribbons. And I should have just quit, but I just couldn't help myself. There, I think that's how I need it. And then that one goes under. And then I staple all three. So you make sure you hold all of those down, hold them in place, but you see how it just naturally twists. I love that. So you can have more purple on one side, more gold on the other. I just think it's so neat. All right, and here are my measurements. So I was working with the four yards weaving ribbons equals 24 inch braid. But like I said, on the purple and gold one, I did add an additional 12 inches to that. And you just find the center of that top T which is the weaving ribbons and that's where you attach it to the ribbon that goes down the bottom of the T. Like I said, go watch Connie's video. She's got a step-by-step -step on how to make it. I just want to show you how to do some different patterns with it. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others. Please comment, like, share, subscribe, be kind with your comments and I'll catch you all on the next one. And as always, happy mum making, happy crafting.